On the news tonight, President Mohamed Bouhari approves 30,000 Naira new minimum wage. In business, the Senate to probe diversion of 1.05 billion Naira from Nigeria liquefied natural gas. And on the foreign scene, flawed kills 12 persons in Italy. Hello and welcome to Super Screen's flagship news. We're reaching you live from our studios in Lagos State, the center of excellence here in Nigeria. I am Olamide Onka. Many thanks for joining us tonight. We'll start the news with a story where President Mohamed Buhari has approved 30,000 Naira as the new national minimum wage. The president disclosed this while receiving the report of the Tripartite Committee on the review of the national minimum wage at the presidential villa Abuja. The report was submitted by the committee's chairman, Amal Pepo. He has also promised to send a bill to the National Assembly to effect the change from 18,000 Naira to 30,000 Naira. And now the federal government says it does not have the financial power at the moment to meet the demands of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. The Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, who disclosed this to journalists in Abuja, said the crash in the prices of oil prices has affected the economic fortunes and other sectors of the Nigerian economy, including the education sector. The minister also appealed to ASU to be mindful of the fact that all the sectors of the economy are competing with similar financial needs. ASU embarked on an indefinite strike over delays in the implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding the government agreed to in 2017, including to compel government to conclude the renegotiation of other agreements also collectively reached in 2009. The Senate has mandated its Committee on Police Affairs to investigate the alleged assassination attempt on the Deputy Senate President Ike Ekweramadu and members of his families. The resolution came after Senator Ekweramadu narrated his ordeal to his colleagues at plenary on Tuesday. He also told his colleagues that one of the armed men has been arrested. Meanwhile, in his ruling, the Senate President Bukola Saraki berated the Niger police for their alleged late response to Kiramadu's emergency calls and asked the committee to follow up on the investigations by the police. As you say, it's under investigation now, but it's unfortunate the security situation in Abuja. But more disturbing is the poor response by the police. Um, I hope that. Uh, the police are not being partisan in the way they treat cases uh, of such. And I hope that uh, the chairman of the police will go and find out what exactly happened. We eventually caught one of them, and then the rest escaped. And then we were able to hand over that one to the police who are now um, investigating the matter. But the annoying aspect of it, or the, the one that's very worrisome, is at this point, I called the, office, the IG of police, his phone was off. I called some of his aides, I, whom I have their numbers. The phone rang out and nobody had replied to now. And now the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Herab, has raised alarm over alleged plans by the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, to increase the salaries of the members of the Senate. Sarab, who disclosed this in its verified Twitter page, disclosed that Saraki plans to increase the monthly allowance by Senator to 15 million Naira, which is contrary to the Salaries Act. Sarab, however, urged the Senate President to suspend the alleged plans and put into consideration the needs of all Nigerians. And our President Mohamed Buhari has appointed Abike Dabiri Erewa as the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the National Diaspora Commission. Senate President Bukola Saraki read the President's letter to members of the chamber at the plenary in which he sought legislative approval for the appointment. Dabiri Erewa, who is currently the Senior Special Advisor to the President on Foreign Affairs and Diaspora, was a member of the House of Representatives. And now the Niger State Governor, Abubakar Sani Bello, has presented a budget proposal of 159 billion Naira for the 2019 fiscal year. The budget, which is Christian, the budget of sustenance and continuity, was presented to the State House of Assembly today. It is 5.43% higher than the 2018 appropriation bill. 
and all the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Burutai, says failure of security agencies to undertake diligent investigation of cases in Plateau State is responsible for the killings and all the crimes. Burutai disclosed this when the governor of Plateau State, Simon Lalong, led a delegation on a condolence visit to the army headquarters over the death of Major General Idris Al-Kali, retired, who went missing on September 3rd on his way to Bauti State. Buratai said several cases of security infractions in the community where the late Al-Kali's vehicle was found has been reported, but without diligent investigation. One of the vehicles that was recovered was as far back as 2013, and the investigation was never conclusive and no action was taken and the case was uh, at, at, at the end closed. That is to show that so many, almost all the security agencies in the state know what was happening in that community and nobody bothered to take decisive action. And this is one of the bans of the security agencies across the country. If we are not decisive, if we don't take action on such things, the consequences are always grave. And uh, we will always be the victim in sort of trying to protect ourselves and protect the society. The society will be at the receiving end and as well uh, the security agencies. And I want to believe uh, this incident of Major Kali will be a wake-up call to all the security agencies including the, 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 the military. We have a task force that has been there for several years, but still such things continues to happen. You know, it's highly unfortunate. Reacting, the governor of Plateau State, Simon Lalong, decried the acts of individuals taking laws into their hands. He, however, pleaded with the army not to be discouraged by this unprecedented development. Now, when it happened in Plateau State, we knew it was a military affair. It now became a military investigation. The government watched kindly. Where we were supposed to help, we did our best. Our best was to reveal the identity of those who did this. I want to, on behalf of the government of Plateau State, extend our gratitude first for unveiling and bringing out the culprits. But it is unfortunate that it is coming in Plateau State at the time that you are also helping us to rescue peace in Plateau. These are part of the things that I know Mr. President inherited. We also came and inherited some of these things. But you have done your best in the armed forces to restore peace in Plateau State and with, our corporate, with the cooperation we are given when we had the unfortunate incident. I am sure it's one of the series of some of the problems that are still buried on ground in Plateau State. But our, on behalf of the government of Plateau State, we're here to condole you and the entire armed forces for the unfortunate uh, incident. But also to appeal that don't get discouraged with what happened. Please, we appeal that we join hands together, we'll always cooperate too, to ensure that if there are more of this, God will unveil them in Plateau State and Nigeria. The Plateau State Governor, Simon Lalong, speaking there. And all the four members of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, in the House of Representatives has been announced their defection from the party. They are Abiodun Dada, who has moved to the Accord Party, Samuel Williams, who moved to the Labour Party, Lawan Hassan, joined the People's Democratic Party, while the fourth member, Lam Adishino, defected to the African Democratic Congress, ADC. Coming up on Super Screen's flagship news tonight, the Senate is to probe diversion of 1.05 billion naira from the Nigeria liquefied natural gas. These and many more stories coming your way in business after this break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Super Screen's flagship news and now for some business stories. The Senate has begun an investigation into the diversion of 1.05 billion naira from the Nigerian liquefied natural gas account dividend to augment the shortfalls between the landing cost and pump price of the premium motor spirit 
otherwise known as Petro. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Petroleum, Senator Basi Akban raised the points of order at the plenary to urge the lawmakers to probe the withdrawal and payment. In his reaction, the Senate President Bukola Saraki ruled that the committee should go ahead with the probe. With the President, the NLNG dividend account proceeds belongs to the three tiers of government and comes under the Consolidated Revenue Funds account. Therefore, Mr. President, any unauthorized withdrawal from this account without the approval of the National Assembly or any other structure of government is therefore deemed to be illegal, Mr. President. I therefore seek the leave of Mr. President that to allow the Senate Committee on Gas investigate this withdrawal and other withdrawals and the way and manner the accounts of LNG proceeds is treated by the NNPC and report back to the Senate, Mr. President. President Mohamed Buhari says the federal government is saving a total of 24.7 billion naira per month as a result of the implementation of this Treasury Single Account TSA and the elimination of ghost workers from the civil service. The president, who disclosed this at the opening of the e-Nigeria conference in Abuja, said the contribution of the information and communication technology and all the sector to the nation's gross domestic product, GDP, has increased from 10% in 2017 to 11.8% by the second quarter of 2018. According to him, the enforcement of the use of the policy on TSA, the integrated payroll and personal information system, and the bank verification number, and the impact they have made on the administration's public financial management reforms cannot be underestimated. Still talking business, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, says it can sign crude for product and its deals with Shell and ExxonMobil similar to the one assigned with the British Petroleum last week. The NMPC imports about 70% of the nation's fuel needs, mainly petrol, via swap contracts, as the corporation has contracts known as direct sale, direct purchase agreements with 10 consortiums, including trading houses Vitol, Trafigura, Mercuria, and Total. It extended the existing contracts to June 2019, but several trading sources in the consortium said they had requested new price terms. Still in the business sector, the Nigerian Stock Exchange in its domestic and foreign portfolio investment report for September has shown that the amount withdrawn by foreign investors in the third quarter was 23.59% lower than the 123.59 billion Naira pulled out in the previous quarter. Foreign outflow increased by 27.60% from 34.31 in August to 43.78 billion in September. Foreign outflow also increased, according to the report, the total transactions at the nation's balls reduced by 2.79% from 133.84 billion in August to 130.20 billion in September. Transactions from January to September 2018 also increased by 21.23% to in the same period of last year. Still ahead tonight on Super Screen's flagship news, Flawed kills 12 persons in Italy. Details of this story and many more coming your way after this break. Stay with us. <laughs> 